Hello and welcome to Deloitte. I'm Claire Weller and I'm here with Dominic Cockram, a risk advisory partner at Deloitte, as part of our Cyber Insight series. We're going to talk about speed of response. Dominic, how important is it to respond quickly if you suffer a data breach? Well, Claire, as you can imagine, um, if a business has suffered a data breach, the people who are at risk are those whose data has been lost. And that may be their employees, um, it may be their customers, it may be their patients. Um, it will be some community whose personal data, and I think personal is a very key word here, whose personal data has been lost. They may also have lost financial data. Um, and obviously that data is going to be used um, for a purpose because the breach would not have happened, that data would not have been stolen um, without actually someone wanting to use it for something else. And so those stealing it are usually going to use it either to sell on the dark web um, to other people for whom that data has a value, or they're going to then try and go um, and attack the individuals whose data they have um, and use it as a way of inveigling their way in um, in order to try and conduct um, some sort of financial crime to steal some of the money of those individuals ultimately. Um, and therefore, as soon as the breach has happened, those individuals are at risk. And therefore, the faster you respond as a business to notifying those individuals, engaging with them, letting them know what has happened and what they should do about it, um, the more you are mitigating the risk um, for those people. At the same time, under the General Data Protection Regulation um, new rules that came in last year, um, you also have a remit as a business placed upon you to notify customers without undue delay. Um, many businesses are wondering exactly what without undue delay means, because it is a slightly cloudy term, um, and they have to notify the regulators within 72 hours, but customers without undue delay, is that faster, is that slower? Well, to be honest, it really doesn't matter. You should be notifying customers as fast as you practically can. Um, key to that is making sure, though, that you have got the right information. And we've seen various examples where um, businesses have gone out to their customers very quickly, which is good, because it means they are alerted to the risk that they are under. Um, and you then have that balancing act of, do you want to go out and just say to people, we've had a breach and watch out, but we don't know if you were one of the breached parties, we don't know if your information was there, or do you want to wait a little bit until you have some certainty around exactly who should you be talking to and what should you be talking about? All complexities that businesses have got to take into account when they're going through a breach response process. All of those aspects are helped by having good breach notification planning in place beforehand. Because the more of the plans you've got, the more you understand the subtleties of what it is that you have to deal with. And what's the impact for your business if you don't respond promptly? Well, if you don't respond properly, obviously you're going to upset your customers. And I think we've seen many examples of that over the last two years, um, where bad notification processes have left customers um, wondering what has happened, what they should do about it, what's been lost, what does it mean? Um, and inevitably that has a significant impact on a business's reputation. And we have seen, I think in many cases, um, where customers leave that business. They will no longer um, use them as a service or they will no longer buy products there. Um, so various examples I think we're all aware of where that has very much been the case and um, many hundreds of thousands of customers have departed and that is a significant impact on any business. So a fast response is vital. Thank you very much indeed and thank you for watching.